Hello, viewers. This is Cynthia Michael from Free Views, bringing you a new podcast in my separate called The Super Sentai Review. I like always, I'm going to speak very loudly, very clearly, and very slowly, in case you don't understand me. Also, I try to do my best not to be too hard during this RE podcast to tell you as well, not to call saying RE feedback, not to call saying RE feedback as well. And also, if you're under 18, this RE podcast is going to retain your adult language. Once again, if you're under 18, this RE podcast is going to retain your adult language if you're under 18. Now, if you're over 18, then if you're watching this RE podcast recording. Now, with this and everything else out the way, let's get into the latest episode of Boom Boom Boom. So basically, we see, we see Boom, we see Boom D, so basically, we see, we see, we see Boom Boom, you know, or, you know, or, you know, he, you know, you know, you know, meeting up with Sakuma and Diesel, who are cleaning up a park, because, you know, they got their own cleaning service, so basically, you know, full out, and, Throughout this whole series, they had their own cleaning service, so basically they didn't want to clean anything for money. So basically, they was cleaning up this elementary park for for, for school. So basically, Boom Boom showed up, and basically, like, you know, and Boom Boom, like, you know, Boom Boom said, like, oh, you guys are doing a good job with your cleaning, cleaning service. So anyway, uh, uh, so anyway, you know, DJ and Sakura, like, you know, what you, what you do now here? So basically, I'm going shopping. I, I'm going shopping. So basically, you know, Tyre turns out that Boom Boom does have a credit card that Tyre gave him to go shopping with. So basically, like you know, so so Sakamo and Diesel decided to take advantage of this and go with Boom Boom since you know Tyre's rich and all. You know, since Tyre's rich is all is all on Tyre, so Tyre did you know. And so basically, they decided to take advantage of this, you know, and go with Boom Boom, you know, and you know. <laughs> And, and and go spin up and you know and and, and go spin up Ty's money <laughs> going shopping. So anyway, meanwhile, 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 we see we see Ty talking to his mentor, talking to his mentor about you know what's your role with the was asking him the question like you know what's your role with the uh, with the ISA ISA so basically you know as you know we know that the, we know that the, we know that we know that Agent Solid Force of the ISA and and Ty's mentor are in lead with the Hockey Alien, but you know they don't. Know, but you know, but but you know Ty and Shino knows that knows that you know that you know, that, that Agent Solid Force and you know and Ty's mentor Nano are in lead with the Hockey Aliens, but they don't know how how in lead are they with the Hockey Aliens. So basically, Nano explains like, whoa. Whoa, don't be, don't be like, yes, I'm involved with the ISA. <laughs> yes, I'm involved with the ISA. I just, just to, just to make sure that, you know, if the hockey aliens do come, we, don't, we won't be defensive. That's all. Mm-hmm. So that's all I'm involved with, you know, helping them, helping, you know, helping them, you know, helping them, you know, make sure that, you know, you're making sure that if the hockey aliens do fully, you know, a day earth, you know, will be ready for them. That's that's how far my bone with the ISA is. So basically like tires like you know yeah, tires like you know kinda like uh kinda like gave him the benefit well kinda gave him the benefit of doubt but still, you know, Shino told him told him that you know if you ask that if you ask if if you do ask him, you know, he probably will be he probably be lying to your face anyway. So anyway, so anyway, Shino. Meanwhile, Shino was walking, was walking in the city somewhere, and he was being. So basically, he, he was be, he was be, So basically, it seemed like somebody was following Shino for some reason. So basically, so so basically, Shino was being was being followed by someone, someone, somewhere in the city. So anyway, anyway, so then we cut to this black warehouse. We see this. We see this ignition key that you know, as you know, every time that the hockey aliens made a monster, like you know, need a monster, you use these special keys to turn any object into a monster. So basically, we see this. We see this dark female figure using an ignition key to turn a camera into a monster, and Gaia all of a sudden freaked. You know, kind of sense that. Uh, Kind of tell, kind of t- you know, tell Tasha and Detroit that someone had made a monster. Somebody, somebody had made a auto, a auto monster, and basically like who, like you know who, 
who do who do something like this. So basically, wondering who, who wondering who, like you know, the only person that the only person that that can make monsters is Tosser at the moment. So basically, they was wondering, you know, let's go find this monster and go get some questions who who made it. And so anyway, so anyway, so anyway, Shino uh, Shino managed to get the talk on the person that was bothering him. Turns out there's this turns out there's this you know spy he he used to work with. And basically, like you know, oh oh, you haven't gotten sloppy after all. So basically, we never got her name, but. You know, this chick is like seems like you know she you know has worked with her before, and basically, and basically she's the one who makes the camera monster, and basically, so basically you know, and a bunch of and a bunch of foot soldiers, a bunch of uh, a bunch of hockey and foot soldiers showed up as well, and basically she used the opportunity to 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 knock to sedate you know sedate you know and basically took her back to took him to, took him back to her warehouse and basically using the camera monster's power she managed to she, using the power of the camera monster she managed to make a fake copy of Shino to interchange to interchange the boom boom the boom boom just headquarters so basically so basically it's like you know oh basically like you know seems like seems like, seems like this spy lady and Shino are basically uh, uh, basically, oh, oh, Kylie. So basically, you know, so basically, you know, she managed to give the fake, you know, you know, uh, you, you know, real channel is more for, and basically, the fake channel went to Boom Boom headquarters, who, who, you know, to to infiltrate. So anyway. So anyway, so once the fake Shino, you know, you know had you know got into the headquarters, he so you know we see the we see we see the uh, the rest of the Rangers except for uh, except the Sakamo and Diesel and Boom Boom, you know you know you know working on you know uh, upgrades to to the Boom cars and basically you know the fake Shino you know, was like you know like you know hey with with Boom Rat. so basically like you know Joe is like you know oh he's with. He went shopping. He went shopping, and basically, like you know, Diesel. He went shopping. So basically, like you know, he went shopping. I I, I heard he's with Diesel and uh, Diesel and Sakamo. So basically, like you know, okay, then that's when that's when their alarms went off, and basically that's when the camera monster and and a bunch of foot soldiers were attacking the city. So basically, like you know. Mm-hmm. You know, so basically, like you know, the fiction is suggesting that you no, know, I'll finish up upgrading the boom cards while you guys deal deal with the monster and, and when I deal with the monster. I'll come, I'll come while I update. You know, to do, finish doing some update on the boom card. So basically, like you know, Tyre was like okay, and basically he went off. And so the Rangers went off. So anyway, meanwhile, the camera monster and a bunch of foot soldiers were, were you know, cornered some people, and basically the camera monster took some weird, ugly pictures of, of people, and basically showed them to them, and basically, you know, and forced them to, you know, forced them to cry and scream, and therefore started started to absorb their their gasoline energy for these humans and whatnot. And basically, that's when Tasha, Yaya, and Trey showed up. It's like, you know, started to ask the monster a question, like, hey, 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 who you work? Who made you? Like you know, who made you? Who's in charge of you? And the camera monster was like, you know, mm-hmm. like you know, it's like what? And basically, that's when the ranger. That's when we see Gimma, we see Gimma, Jill, and and Minnow showed up. Wow, tired and basically tired. And so basically, like you know, we Detroit. So the hockey and trio decided to retreat in this. Retreat and let the camera monster do his own thing, uh, and basically, the, so basically, Meadow, Gimba, and Joe took down the foot soldiers, and they were busy fighting the camera monster. The camera monster used his copy co- copy powers to make copies of Gimba, of uh, Gimba, Joe, and Meadow, and basically now. Nah, so basically, the three Boom Rangers are fighting against fake copies of themselves, so, against the power of the camera monster. So anyway, meanwhile, we see back at the head, back at Boom Boom headquarters, we see, we see, we see the fake Shino, you know, you know, actually, you know, basically doing something to the computer system, and basically, and, and Tyre is like, you know, oh, I figured that you're not the real, you're not the real Shino, so basically, like, you know, so basically Tyre was not, 
And so basically, you know, Tar knows, you know, Shino, uh, knows Shino very well, and he knows how, how, how Shino act, and basically he figured out that, you know, it, you're not the real Shino and whatnot. So basically him and the big Shino got into a fight, he got into a, a, a more fight, and basically, like, you know, and basically turned out that, you know, turned out that, yeah. turned out the whole mission of, you know, of Shino's lady spy thing was to infiltrate the boom room to infiltrate the boom boom to his headquarters and 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 and, and use the fake shino to affect their computer system therefore 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 they will not be able to morph or or use or use or, or use any of the boom cars at all so basically that was the whole point of of shino's lady spy for colleague was to in, Use the fake shino to infiltrate the boom rooms at headquarters and plant a virus to shut them down, to shut the ranger down for morphing and, or, or thumbing the resorts and whatnot. So basically, like, you know, you know so basically, Tyler got the upper hand against the fake shino and whatnot, while the real shino managed to, uh, managed to break free, managed to break free and start to fight his, his former, uh, his former colleague. Carly and whatnot. So basically, like you know, so basically the fake channel say that you know there's no way you can stop the virus that I put in your computer system. And basically, and basically look at the computer screen. The virus has stopped. And basically, that you know the real channel, the real channel printed some some safety features in a computer system in case any in case in case somebody tried to destroy a computer system with a virus. So basically. The real shell put some safety fixes in the boom boom computer system to to stop any virus from shutting them to shut down their their computer system that allows them to morph and summon the zords and whatnot. So basically, you know, Ty took down the fake you know, the real you know, managed to managed to managed to managed to managed to managed to, managed to tie up his former colleague in the warehouse and basically, you know, and basically, you know, so basically, after you know, basically after that, you know, basically after that, the real Shino joined the others. Sakuma was to Sakuma was already there on fighting the camera monster while the other rangers were fighting their fake, fake, fake fighting their fake selves. And basically, Tyre and Shino did show up in separate, you know, separately. And basically, like you know, like you know, like you know, ah. Uh, and Tyre's like, you know, oh, it's good to see you again, you know, it's good to see you, the real channel again. So basically, like, oh, uh, get, uh, oh, well, I figured that you would, uh, wouldn't let that fake shit out. You wouldn't recognize that fake shit out. What it mean? So anyway, so basically, Tyre gave shit out his more for that, and they basically morph up and, and transform into the champion shit jacket forms and basically so basically you know and so basically Shino took down the fake rangers and Tyre managed to put the camera mask on the ropes and basically Shino the rangers pressed the pressed the the image on the back of Shino's jacket and did the the quick up champion shit finished shot attack and basically the camera monster was destroyed. So anyway but as usual Yaya, Yaya, Yaya couldn't help himself and basically used his highway beam to make the camera monster grow. And basically, they summoned Boom Boom and, and the carrier Zord and they formed the champion Boom Boom to Megazord. And basically, it took down. And took the, and took down the giant size camera monster once and for all. So basically, so basically, we see we see that if she knows Carly managed to free herself. She was on the top of the rooftop. Seemed like she was talking to somebody, and somebody else was behind her. Turns out she was talking to the uh, talking to the the head, the head you know talking to Asian Sama's boss that you know oh you're missing with the failure. So basically, oh oh. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. It's all right. So anyway, anyway, and basically, you know, you know, Shino noticed it. So he saw his former colleague on top of the building. Once the monster was destroyed, the Dwayne just went on top of the roof, rooftop where where Shino's former former spy colleague was on, but. 
the Dalton but she was long gone and their transmitted device was they only found a broken transmitted device. So basically whoever so basically figured that hmm, who she must have she must have contact her. She must have contact whoever she was working for, and basically with this transmitter device, and tell her that, and tell tell tell, tell her, uh, you know, whoever hired her, she must have contact on this transmitter device and destroy it, you know, to tell her that the mission would fail. So basically, like you know, the other thing is like you know, like you know, who is. You know, like you're know, wondering who who hired who hired the chick to you know, to infiltrate you know to to, to kidnap you know and infiltrate the boom rangers and, sh- and shut them down with a computer virus and whatnot. So basically, like tire and hmm, tire tire uh, tire and you know figured it gotta be the ISA somehow, but they're not they're not one hundred sure about that. So anyway, so basically, there, there's nothing else they can do about it, and basically, you know, they decided to they decided to head back to headquarters and basically and go eat some curry made by Boom Boom. So basically, the ranger, you know, Mino, Mino was like making sure that Chino is the real Chino, trying to picture him, like you know, and basically, you know, how they how they call him by a different Chino uh, 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 Key, they call him Chino Key instead of Chino <laughs> as a nick. Nickname, you know, and basically Shino hates that nickname. So basically, they're like, you know, Meadow says he's the real Shino. And basically, the episode ended on this note, ended on this note with what the Rangers heading back to HQ, heading back to HQ to go eat some curry that um, made by Boom Boom. And basically, that's how the episode ended on this note. So anyway. So anyway, so basically we know hmm, things are starting to get very interesting. So basically, you know, we started to get more about, we started to get more details about, you know, about about Shino's past, um, being a spy and whatnot, and basically meeting some and finally meeting some colleagues, meeting some more colleagues, meeting a colleague that worked with him back when he was in the spy gang. So anyway. This was a good episode. Anyway, what do you guys think about this episode? Good, bad, or just uh, just now? Please let me know what comments below. Anyway, sign off in three years. One.